what I want you to do is take that camera yeah. and go out to Las Feliz Boulevard and walk along the floor of the river yeah. and see how many leaves are and see how many plastic bags are. Okay, do you You'll know that do you know the plastic bags only make up one percent? One to two percent of the litter? The river. You wanna go out to the river with me? I'll show it to you. Plastic bags, you faithful transporters of groceries, liners of bathroom trash cans, pickers up of dog crap, inspirers of late 90s Hollywood screenwriters, you've been banned. Banned by the Los Angeles City Council. But why? Hey, it's Kennedy for Reason TV here at LA City Hall. I'm going to go in and ask some city council members that very question, and I'm going to be honest. I'm feeling a little fiery today. I live next to the ocean, and you know what? Uh -huh. There's all sorts of stuff going into the ocean. Are you going to make every single thing illegal? Are you going to no, make bad choices and condoms? No. There are no, condoms no. all over the street. Well, you're very good there. Here, come on into committee right now. Thank you so, Council Member Alarcon, why are you so mad at this sweet plastic bag? Oh, I'm not mad at it. I, I use what did it. What did this plastic thing. bag do to you? It did nothing to me, nothing to me. It's just that I think we can move beyond uh, that and move us in a direction that's uh, better for our environment. The question is, will banning plastic bags that you get at the grocery store actually do anything to improve the water quality or to the amount of uh, garbage that's in the oceans? The answer is no. The fact of the matter is that in all the studies that have been done, that um, plastic bags, that's overall plastic bags, only make up about 2% of what they find. Yeah, it may be small in, in, in uh, some people's eyes, but when you're looking at 1%, that's yeah. a huge difference. No, it's actually minuscule compared to the other 99%. I don't compare it to the other 99%. I compare it to what we... Should we be looking at the bigger picture? No, we should be looking at all the pictures. This is just feel-good legislation. It's not actually going to do anything. It's not going to solve any problems, but it makes people think that we've done something. Councilman Parks, you were the only one, the bravest soul, who voted against the plastic bag ban. No, I think I'm just the only one that read the ordinance. It was several years ago when there were people that basically had to get rid of paper because they said it was saving trees. Never thought about what plastic was going to do years later, and I think we're in the same boat today. Yeah. That we're saying, okay, get rid of plastic, but we clearly are not thinking about whatever is replacing it. Even if you wash the bags and you do it just as people say, they're still saying you should not ever commingle them. Well, you're going to end up uh, having to have a raw meat bag, yeah. a fish bag, a fruit bag, a gross, a, a, a basically a vegetable bag. Are you going to? And is everyone going to bag their own groceries? Well, are you, you going to sit over the the bagger's shoulder and tell them? Part of the reason I think that this has passed is because the uh, people that are pushing this are very powerful in terms of the number of people that they can generate calls and letters and things like that. The general population was not calling for a ban on plastic bags. We're changing the culture of society, making them more aware of the environment, more aware of. Okay, awareness is one thing, but government forcing people to do these We're things. Forcing them. We're not forcing them. They have an option. They don't. They now have to pay for it because of you. We're going to be issuing bags, the 22 pound bags that we are calling. Sounds heavy. Forward. My shoulders can't handle that. Well, we will help you with that. You don't have to load the bag to capacity, but if you do, it's 22 pound capacity. Yeah. And we're just changing the way culture. And, and LA, with its budget shortfall, has the money to give everybody recyclable bags. Department of Sanitation and the stores are getting together and there will be a number of bags that will be distributed. If I told you that there was a product that I could that I could provide to you in which you could take your groceries home from the store, that 80% of the people will reuse it. The people who don't reuse it, it's 100% recyclable. Do you think that the city council will fall all over themselves mandating that we use that product? They probably would. And of course, I'm talking about plastic bags. I do support it, I did vote for it, but I was not the author of it. And I think if you talk to the authors, you may get more information that may satisfy your questions. But I, I don't do know if anything that. is ever going to satisfy this burning, Councilman Zine. What's burning? My heart, because I want less government. These things are bad, we have to get rid of them. They're convinced that they're bad, and they don't want to hear anything else. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get to a better place. I mean, that's the whole thing, but in, in, in the short term, what I can say is we will have a positive impact on the environment. You know what a better place is? Fewer laws and less government intrusion. I, I, I uh, agree with you in some scale, but uh, not this. Mm -hmm.